lesson from today's workout. Perseverance. The ability to keep going even when what it is that you're doing is difficult. And for this workout, I definitely had to apply that. So first, I just did shadow boxing three minutes. Um, and then I, I kind of did like a you know boxing timer type of split. So three minutes of whatever, then one minute rest, three minutes of whatever, whatever, uh, one minute rest, three minutes of whatever. So I did jumping jacks. Then I did, um, I guess, uh, what, up and downs or gorilla up and downs. Um, or they were, it was kind of like burpees, but you know, that's whatever. And so it was, it was especially at the end part, it was very difficult. Um, but one thing is that the boxing, so when it came to my shoulder, it was like, oh man, my shoulder's giving out, but I, I had to keep going. You know, I wasn't done. I only just started, so why would I, why would I give up now? So at this point, it's like, not a lot of my mental toughness is being is being put to the middle here. Not not much of my perseverance per se. You know that ability that isn't being put to the test because it's not being challenged right now. Right now I'm in the easy part. Right now this this is easy mode. This is the easy part. Um, one thing is to mention too is like man, I, I think I'm slow. It's like holy cow. Like looking back at the footage, it's like man, I'm like slow. Um, and then another thing too is mentioned. So I did this in my room. Of course, as you can see, uh, I have the sheets that I sleep on and stuff. So I sleep on the floor. It allows me to have so much space to just do stuff like this, for example. So it's just kind of like I have those sheets rolled up in the corner that I sleep on. Um, and I just kind of roll them out at night. And I, of course, like sweep and mop my floor if I'm gonna be sweating like crazy in here. Um, so yeah. But I, I enjoy doing that because it allows for me to do this stuff. And back to the boxing. Again, that was the easiest part. It was pretty fun, too, because it's like I'm trying. I'm really trying to envision there, that there's an opponent here, that there's someone here that is trying to attack me or like I'm sparring with somebody and I'm trying to defend them. So I'm taking different stances when getting up close. I probably uh, not probably I should keep my hands up more. I have my hands like below my chin. So I probably would have gotten knocked out a lot of times. But, you know, fortunately for me, the person that I was shadow boxing wasn't really all that good. He was kind of like garbage. Um, so, you know, as you can see here, I'm kind of like messing him up and stuff like that, bobbing and weaving. Um, so it's like, you know, again, I'm having fun. At the end, at the end of the day, I'm still having fun. I'm having a good time because it's like still you. I still want to enjoy this. I still want to enjoy this. So next up is going to be the jumping jacks. So one thing here is that like, so I did these for three minutes straight. It's not like I was like, okay, I'm gonna do 100 reps of these or I'm gonna do 200 reps. I did three minutes straight. And with that being said, my hips, when I when it came to me kicking out, my hips became, uh, or my hip flexors started to become a bit like tired. They started to become a bit more fatigued. And my shoulder, like as I was going my shoulder like I stopped focusing on my shoulder how my shoulder felt after I did the boxing um it's like it went away because it's like I just had to focus on making sure I was moving so you can see here and there I'm switching from like the kicking my legs out and then just to regular style jumping jacks uh just to make sure I'm still like moving just to make sure I'm still going that I'm not stopping because if I were to stop then it's like dude I'm like come on I have to make sure I do everything in, in or something in, in all those three minutes. So again, that's where, this is where it's kind of like, now my uh, my metal, you know, my mental metal is starting to be put to the test. So now it's like, okay, I have to make sure I'm still moving. You know, I can't just stop randomly in between here um, unless I think I'm gonna trip or something like that. So it's like, I'm really making sure I'm just moving, moving, moving for these three minutes. And I have to keep doing that. I have to keep doing that. And I switch in between the jumping jacks and, uh, the, you know, kicking out the legs. Uh, again, fun. This is pretty fun. It's nice. Again, especially when I just have so much space here in my room. Um, you know, I'm recording in my room too. So it's very interesting. And again, guys, don't sleep on this. Like this, what I'm doing here, it might look like it's easy. But it's like, don't sleep on these, man. When you're doing these intensely, like how I am for, like, just continuously, it's going to get hard. And it's going to get difficult. And when it gets difficult, you have to keep going. So when it comes to perseverance, again, being able to keep going, especially in a difficult situation. 
So you see me shaking my head. You see me telling myself, like, I'm not finished. I'm not done. I have to keep going, stuff like that. And it's like you have to tell yourself these things in order for you to build up that positive mindset. Um, if you're always constantly down on yourself, telling yourself, I can't do this, I can't do that, I don't have the ability, I'm tired of this, I'm tired of that, it's going to go through, it, it, that's going to happen, it's basically going to happen, you just spoke your downfall into life, so you want to try and avoid doing that, especially when it comes to something physical like exercise, because it's like you can't give up on yourself with that, because that's your life, that is your life you have control over your life so you can't just give up on wanting to be a healthier person um you have to know what's hard and you have to take those hard things you have to actively try and complete those hard things in order for you to build up that ability to persevere and when you're persevering i would say or when you're trying to practice your perseverance start with something like physical exercise right and if you can stay consistent in that and you can tell yourself to keep going on that, then you'll be able to make it through anything. Like, well, right now, after getting through this entire workout, I'm like, dude, I can do anything, bro. Like, it doesn't matter. I was able to do this. This was so hard. This was so difficult. I know I can do anything. Anything that I want to put my mind to, I know I can do it. So and it's just crazy because it's like I never thought of myself this way before. I never thought of myself this way. I'm like... Uh, I think so. Maybe maybe I can do it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see. Uh, let me try. And then I'll try and then I'll try for like a week or something. And then like, oh, I'm not good enough immediately. So I'm going to stop it. So again, like don't fall into that trap, bro. So like take something like, again, physical exercise. See, if you can stay consistent, if you can tell yourself that you can keep doing it, then it's going to carry over. It has, it's almost no choice but to carry over because that's just a part of you that's just becoming a part of you you see me banging on the floor you see me over here shaking my head telling myself i have to get up i have to get up off the ground that's me telling myself like i still have to keep going i know i still have gas in the tank i know i still have energy inside of me and i just have to find it i'm over here like getting frustrated like dude why are you stopping come on come on go 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 i'm over here giving myself telling myself like i can do this i can do this i have to keep going stuff like that and you have to tell yourself that because it's going to push you even further, right? You know, you, you can't have, like, someone being your, your cheerleader or your, I don't know, mascot or whatever in the background chain or one. Uh, you're not going to have those people. You're not going to have those people tell you, oh, you got this, man, keep going, blah, blah, blah. You have to tell yourself you got this. You have to tell yourself to keep going. You have to tell yourself that you're going to do this, that you're going to do that, that you're going to be better, that you're going to start today, that you're going to build a better future for yourself and that you're going to keep going, that you're going to keep working hard. Because, again, at the end of the day, nobody is there, okay? Nobody is there before you, okay? I bet right now, if you're looking around, look to your left, look to your right, who do you see? Look behind you, who do you see? Now, if you're watching this and, you ha and you're and you with your family and or you're in a car and the, like there's someone in the passenger, like, bro, bro, okay, now, within the next 24 hours... Is that same person still right next to you? Like, of course, don't take what I'm saying super duper literally. If you have people who support you, then go ahead. But that's not always promised. It's not promised that they're always going to support you. So you, at the end of the day, you have to find a way to support yourself. And that is through building up perseverance. That is through building up this ability to tell yourself, like, you cannot stop. You have to keep going. You cannot stop. Because when you slow down, when you slow down, that's when you lose your momentum that's when everything's going to start falling apart. That's when you start to end up, uh, you know, breaking those good habits. That's when you start back up again with those bad habits and things like that. And if you're on a roll, then do your absolute best to make sure you stay on a roll. Like, and a quick example, these videos, okay? I, I do my absolute best. I try my absolute best to make sure I get these videos out every single day. So it's like there are certain things in my life that, I know I can't afford to do because it might interfere with me making um, a video here. Uh, you know, some of the things might be like just making sure you get in doing a workout or making sure you sleep at a certain time every day. Um, so, you know, you have to sacrifice certain things. But at the end of the, at the end of the day, at the end of everything, you know, you're doing it for a benefit. You know, you're doing it for the ability to basically 
have a better a better future for yourself to build that foundation now even even if you are a much older person even if you were like in your mid 30s maybe early 30s maybe late 20s mid 20s whatever the case may be it's never too late it is never too late it is never too late okay and there there's older people in the comments saying like you know they they turned their lives around um you know only just 2 years ago um, you know, young people saying that they're being motivated, things like that. So it's like, again, it's never too late. It's never too early either. It is never too early. Okay. Don't think that right now, as you're a 15, 16 year old, whatever, um, nothing's happening to you. Everything's fine. You're, you know, oh, you don't feel sick, but it's like, once you realize, like you start to get on a healthier lifestyle, you're going to realize that you were sick before. And once you get back into those bad habits, you're going to realize how sick you were before you were like, how did I live like this? You know, how did I, how did I, how did I live like this? All right. So again, again, look at me, bro, bro. I'm over here gassed. I'm like falling to the floor. I'm stumbling around. Guess what? I get back down on the ground and I get right back up. I get right back down on the ground and I get right back up because I know what I have to do. I know that I have to do this. Even if I have my head dive down and everything like that, I still have to keep going. All right. I, I, I'm even... I'm so critical of myself over here. I'm like, man, why am I why am I stopping to breathe like this? Like, no, I shouldn't. I have to keep going because I'm not finished. I told myself I was going to do this. This is my second time doing the gorilla up and downs. I wasn't going to do this. I was not going to do a fourth set of this stuff, but I did because I wasn't satisfied with what I had before. So I so I knew like I told myself I was going to do this, so I was going to do it. I was going to make sure I was going to do it. I was going to make sure that I tried to squeeze as much as I can out of myself to do my absolute best in those three minutes. Okay. And your best, your best doesn't have to look like my best. We're all at the end of the day, we're all starting from different starting points, different walks of life. But again, where you're starting from, you're starting from what's on the inside and what's on the inside is limitless. You can keep, you can grow that forever. What we might have in this physical world, we can't keep growing, we can't keep evolving, but we can always evolve and grow ourselves. So just really keep that in mind, okay? Just really keep that in mind because that's that's definitely a great quality of perseverance because it's really just something within. I could have stopped this workout whenever I wanted to, but I decided that I wanted to keep going. 